Hey, what's up, kudos girl? Hope you're having a good day today. We are one week into the new year. Yay! I don't know how you guys are doing with your new year's resolutions. A lot of times this is when people are falling off and then they get into that cycle of holding on to their failure instead of looking at what's that goal still. So I'm coming on here with a just a quick little suggestion to hit the reset button. If you had a resolution or something you're trying to work on and it just didn't work out, you failed, you didn't make it to the gym, you didn't quit smoking, you didn't follow up with a dream or goal you have, um, let it go, hit that reset button and get ready to revamp it again. So um, too often people will stumble and then they focus on the stumbling instead of what their goal is. So this is a tactic I'm gonna share with you guys and if you can start to implement it today, it can help get you back on track and hopefully you know, get you to where you're trying to go. So um, this morning, um, on a piece of paper, write down like really detailed, what is your goal or your objective that you're trying to do? Whether it's, um, you know, you wanna start going to the gym three times a week or, you know, whatever it is that your goal is and write it down and be as specific as you can. If it's like a financial goal, you know, right, I wanna earn X amount of dollars. And if you can even say by this time, or it could be lose weight or whatever whatever it is that your, your goal is that you have going for this year. And then read that message every morning when you get up and every single night before you go to bed. It can help keep that vision of where you're going. And really what that is, is it's a way of tapping into your subconscious. So you're getting that constant reminder of what your goal is because in our outside world that we live in, um, there's so many things that will come to us that can be um, distracting and get us off course. So if we have that objective in our mind and it's it's in concrete and it's it's written form and you know verbally you're saying it, and mentally you're saying it, it creates this loop or this pattern in your brain to get you on track of where it is that you want to go. And one of the other things that I just want to give to you as a suggestion is um, the environment that you're in. You know, I was just bringing it up a minute ago, you know, the, the environment you're in, that there'll be things that influence you. So one of the things you got to take responsibility for is being accountable to who are the people that you have in your inner circle of, of influence. And, you know, sometimes you might be in a work environment where maybe you don't have that positive team support or um, maybe even at your home uh, there's not support for you know if you're trying to lose weight maybe you're hearing negative comments you've got to do something to create a um, support system to help create these new patterns and thinking and if you subscribe to these negative notions of um, things people say or think and you buy into it, it's going to distract you from your goals. So if you've had the same circle of people that you hang around and you've had the same goal you keep trying to attain and you're seeing that you're not getting it, maybe something you need to consider is who is within your sphere of influence. Are you finding people that, um, like for instance, if you're trying to lose weight, are you around people that are sharing information and wisdom about healthy eating and refined sugars or they have wisdom that will share you or are you around people that are going to say you're never going to lose that weight because we know you like your freaking mcdonald's and dunkin donuts and processed crap food there's two different mindsets and believe it or not both of those can have an impact on how you're thinking so, you know, we're one week into, you know, the New Year's resolution. I'd love to hear from you. I mean, what are some of the goals that you have this year? Leave it in the comments below. Are you um, staying on track with it? Or are you finding that you're having some difficulty um, swinging into that, you know, and actually following up with your commitment? Um, you know, I, I think it's... Um, 
funny how we spend these little minutes of time and we don't realize that these little minutes eventually accumulate to an hour, which accumulates to a full day. So you've got to make sure that the way that you're spending those little pockets of time correlate with what, you know, what's the big goal? What do you want to have? What do you want to do in this lifetime? So if you're not in control of your mind and the direction of your thought, and you think that it's just on neutral, it's not. What's happening is it gets influenced by the other people within that inner circle. So be aware of your thoughts, write it down. And then number two, be mindful of the um, circle that you have. And don't subscribe to their negative stuff. I mean, family and friends are gonna be great and whatever malarkey is said. You've gotta learn to love them, but leave the trash behind. And, uh, and when I say trash, I don't mean them as trash. I'm talking about the negative thinking. Or um, I had an old friend that would call it stinking thinking. And it is stinking thinking. You gotta ditch it and find new sources of inspiration that correlate with what, you know, what is it that you wanna build in this lifetime? So those are the two steps that I wanna to suggest to you today. Try it out, you know. Um, forgive yourself, let go of the ashes, hold on to the beauty and start going after the stuff that you want. So later today, we have um, Kudos Magazine. It's gonna be coming out, I'm super excited. Um, it should be hitting drop boxes possibly today and um, throughout this week. So keep an eye out for that and we hit your mailboxes. So for those of you that subscribe, thank you. We really appreciate all of your support. If you um, haven't subscribed, you can tune in to um, our next issue, which will be coming out in March. That one's going to be phenomenal, too. If you go to our Facebook page, the Shop Now button, um, and you can sign up for We're still running a um, membership for just $10 for the year that brings you four issues of Kudos Magazine, and we're going to have some other stuff going on, too. Um, but, yeah, super excited to be a part of this journey for 2019. Uh, I, I still just can't believe that, that we're here already. Pretty soon we're going to be in 2020 vision. So in the meantime, you guys, make this a fabulous uh, January. If you fell down on your goal, reset, restart. Hit the reset button. Grab the, that handful of beauty and let the ashes go, you guys. All right, take care. Be good. Be happy. Have a great week. See you. Bye.